Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the Tata Curve concept. Curve with two V's and not an E. Anyways, this is an SUV coupe concept which previews future Tata Motors design and probably this will also go into production sitting right between the Nexon and the Harrier. There's a nice, I mean, gap in between. Anyways, we're going to be quickly looking at this concept which is absolutely radical. First and foremost, you can see the design looks amazing. Even if they get 80% of this into production, this is going to sell like hotcakes. You can see that is the DRL. Okay, the Tata logo is here. And this happens to be the main lights actually right now. They're not the complete lights as such, but okay, they're turning on and off in a very nice and subtle fashion. In fact, there is an air curtain here. Yeah, there is an air curtain right here and it's all about aerodynamics. You know what? Air actually flows from here, right? To the brakes, to cool the brakes as well. And then you've got this black line. I'm not going to go into much detail in terms of the design because obviously this is a concept and I don't know exactly how much of it is actually going to go into production. But you can see air actually flows out from here. Now, right here in the front will be the engine. But this is an EV first concept, rather an EV first car. That's the reason this comes on the second generation of the EV platform, which is EV first and then there'll be ICE as well. And I presume there'll be a petrol as well as a diesel engine option. Just hope they give a powerful petrol engine here. And the third generation EV platform would be only EV. It will not be designed for ICE. So that's how Tata Motors is actually going ahead. Now let's do one thing. Let's see how this light flows. Okay, I really love the way the DRL has been done. It's absolutely crazy. It might kind of remind you of the Kia Seltos, which also has a very long DRL. And uh, <laughs> yeah, ground clearance is absolutely massive. That's like crazy amount of ground clearance as well. Anyways, let's get to the side, which will remind you of the Lamborghini Urus. The sloping roof line looks absolutely fantastic. And even though the tire size is absolutely massive, 235.55, sorry, it's 235.50.20. I got so excited. 235.50.20, that's like a nice profile. Wheels also very nicely designed. Again, for aerodynamics, of course. Yeah, sort of plastic treatment in the center looks kind of that. Tata logo there. I don't know why the discs are rusted at the moment. But here you can see the wheels look massive and the design is also very unique with this yeah, sort of treatment here. Piano black finishing on the body, I mean, look at that side molding which looks quite nice as well. It says EV right here. These mirrors are like just for fun, I believe. Obviously, they are not going to be functional. Probably they might just have cameras, but obviously this is for the concept vehicle. Meanwhile, you can see the ground clearance is actually good enough. Like you can see the flat floor as well, where the battery pack will actually go. Sloping roof line will not eat, I mean, will not eat into the headroom of the rear passengers is what Tata Motors claims. But that's something we can only find out once the production model is actually launched. But looks so nice, so fantastic. Like they've outdone themselves with this design, of course. And then how it was done at the front for the lights. Again, the rear design is also kind of similar. And again, air flows from here and there. Coming to the rear, the lights are again very beautiful. I like the way the lights have been done on the rear windscreen. So there, it's kind of moving right now. That's kind of cool. That looks really very nice. And again, the Tata Motors logo placed quite beautifully, kind of sort of floating as well. And then a lot of play in terms of the way the air flows on this car. In fact, this spoiler treatment will definitely remind you of the BMW X4. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. You can see the cuts and creases. So the design is kind of simple, yet it has all these cuts and creases, which gives it a very nice blend. And I like the attention to detail, which has been done throughout. Tata Motors is doing a fantastic job in terms of obviously attention to detail on its newer cars. And especially the design is absolutely fantastic. This seems to be the rear fog light. And because this is an EV, I'm not going to find an exhaust, will I? Okay, you can see the suspension there. And you can see it on the other side as well. Okay, the floor is very much flat because this is obviously an EV. You can see the disc as well. So this is the fog light of the car, which is kind of nice. Now, because this is a concept, Tata Motors will not let us open the door or sit inside, but they have opened the left side doors, which means that we can actually see what is there inside this car. Firstly, the floor is completely flat and they have used recycled leather just to be eco-friendly and a lot of recycled materials just to be eco-friendly. And you can see the rear seats. 
is some recline angle which is on at the moment this is where the seat belt of the vehicle is oh this thing actually moves so she's going to put it down at the moment that is the boot which is quite big as such but i'm not sure how rear visibility is going to be there with the sloping roof line a slight placement here on the top seats actually look quite comfortable and nice and i like the way the seat belts have been done there okay you don't get that tri arrow pattern thank god they finally got rid of that but the color actually becomes darker from front to rear there are no door pockets actually there are no door pockets here or probably this thing opens i'm not sure about that so yeah that's kind of different door pockets will obviously be given on the production model there are no magazine holders nothing scooped out as such because the concept model obviously has four proper seats a uh, production model has to have three seats at the rear because more the merrier of course now here this is actually the button to unlock the window and this is to unlock the door very nice so this has this digital design which you can see inspired from maybe a smartphone everything is having a haptic control as well quite nice <laughs> the doors don't open 90 degrees so tata punch and tata ultros are very much safe now getting in and out would be easy but i, I see there's this sort of a bulge here but the floor is flat legroom seems fine knee room also seems fine headroom would be just about adequate for someone as tall as me and it gets a massive panoramic roof as well now this one obviously does not open but the production model will have to have an opening one dashboard design looks quite nice you can see how the play has been done three layers sort of thingy and in the middle we have a gold treatment by the way you can see the steering wheel the tata logo is actually eliminated it's a new two spoke steering wheel very similar to the one on the slavia okay really different but you get the drill now a lot of buttons on it we'll come to that in a bit and that is a big screen that's a 12.3 inch screen the instrument cluster is actually a 10.25 inch unit 10.25 something of that sort and everything seems very much different so that's also quite nice now coming to the side or the other side it kind of looks similar but i really like the way the design looks it's going to be one of the most unique cars on the road if they launch an suv coupe of course they claim that the range is going to be around 500 km if they achieve that that will be fantastic okay this is similar to the one at the rear this is for the power window controls of course these are the controls for door locking and unlocking so i don't think how this is going to get into production so some of the things are not production ready frameless doors again something i'm not too sure which is going to come at this price point meanwhile the front seats also look quite comfortable now another unique bit is that the driver seat actually has a center console this part attached to it so when you move the seat this also moves so that is the center armrest this is the gas selector electric parking brake and of course here these are drive mode so this flag is obviously for sports mode this is for eco mode and it will be in the normal mode the regular mode by default there are a lot of controls here obviously for the air conditioning why does it say cng okay can you see that it says why is it not bright enough today so yeah it actually says cng here i don't even know if they're going to launch a cng version but that's kind of weird cng version is going to be coming okay controls for the air conditioning parking okay parking sensors 360 degree camera automatic parking button electric tailgate power tailgate and obviously for the light functions as well so a lot of functions have actually been given right here which is kind of cool and kind of different as well now that treatment at the front <laughs> now on the outside is also carried to the interior material quality actually feels quite nice seats also seem very comfortable here and i like the way you know this thing i don't know what it does but yeah anyways we have to figure all that out so where is the seat belt seat belt is placed here which is kind of different all the headrests are actually adjustable in this car and you can see the <laughs> amount of airy feeling which comes in due to the massive panoramic roof in fact light placement is here right on the top which is also very nicely done that is an auto dimming inside rear view mirror car has a weird smell it's kind of different and then you know what it's easy to walk through here as well because everything is almost flat as such and you can see the pedals are also quite different here let me just duck in and try to see stuff there there's a button there red button that's for nos just kidding it can't be in fact electric adjust for the drivers and co drivers seat you just press this button to move it ahead or behind that's also quite nice i don't know how it's going to recline though there might be a separate button for that if i can you store stuff on below the seat as well i kind of think that is also possible because just look at that very nice absolutely stunning concept and a very nice interior as well now i don't think the glove box is going to open but this color scheme is very unique this sort of a bluish color anyways let's try and see the buttons on the steering wheel okay there are paddles now because this is electric it might be for regenerative braking the controls here are actually for the audio system the controls on the other side lane keep assist getting into the 
instrument cluster of course yeah you can change things on the instrument cluster using that button and it's telling how much is the charge time and the charging has been completed how much co2 has been saved and these are floating ones this both the screens actually floating ones in fact tata motors was saying something like you know you can actually replace the screens going forward so that you know because technology moves so fast that's something you would really want obviously it's going to get ira connected car tech and there i think this one is way better than the current infotainment system that connect next from tata motors here it's showing you all the data air conditioning controls air conditioning details audio system phone connection and uh, come on move aside let's see what else you've got so that's also quite nice okay that is the audio system is showing you what track is playing at the moment you can get into the songs i just hope it's fast enough this uh, lever is very thin as such on the other side the lever isn't that thin it's kind of on the thicker side so yes a lot of interesting things in this car to look forward to but the only thing is uh, we have to wait for at least i think couple of years because it's going to be launched in the next 2 years or so that's what tata motors says Now the good part is that this actually previews a lot of things for the future for Tata Motors in terms of what is going to be the design like in the future as well as what all can we expect from the car because that infotainment system definitely looks kick ass here you can see how the screens have been mounted if that can be replaced that would be so amazing i'm only trying to figure out that it says 360 degree camera on the inside but i can't see cameras on the outside so are they hidden cameras who knows who cares that's a possibility as well so guys there's a this is like a quick look at the tata curve coupe suv concept looks really fantastic the design is i mean just get this design trust me it's going to sell in real hot numbers and because it's ev for us it's going to have all its eco friendly credentials right there at the front as well and i love the way they have actually done piano black finishing which is going to be a fingerprint magnet so i'm just going to leave some of mine here right now Shh. <laughs> Anyways, let me put this back into place so nobody even realizes. But this is so easy to move, so easy to access the boot. Production model will have something which is different because they'll have a parcel shelf there and stuff like that, which is kind of mandatory. But here you can actually keep stuff if you so wish. And that's about it, guys. The walk around of this beautiful. concept coupe suv from tata motors is over if you like it make sure to give it a thumbs up that's a like button and let me know what do you think in the next 2 years who's going to kick ass is it going to be tata motors is it going to be mahindra as far as indian car makers go bye bye look at that oh my god wow